then we're just gonna relax for the next few hours with a nice little game. Uh, this is the kind of game I used to play when I was in the in the nineties. I used to love these games so much because they're like they're really like a fable and stuff like that. It's like opening a book of fables and you just go in or like you know like one of these movie like uh, Shrek and stuff like that that is full of fable and it could be funny it could be interesting but at the same time it makes you search because it's a puzzle game there's a there's a story to the game but then there's also um it's also you know based on a, uh, on being a, uh the puzzles and um and trying to find your way around uh, uh, an obstacle and stuff like that but this one looks like it it could be very fun so let's play um like i said uh let me find it king quest uh 2015 um i think it was released if i'm not wrong if i'm not wrong let me check again so yeah so we're gonna play okay uh king quest uh collection as they call it uh five different chapter uh developer by the odd gentleman and publisher by sierra of course uh so released in 2015 uh it can be found on steam if you want to know and right now uh until january 5th it's 50 percent off uh, so here in Can uh, Canadian, it's twelve forty nine Canadian. So it's it, it might be around ten dollar US for the whole thing. So remember that if you like the game, uh, then uh, you also have the first uh, episode uh, for free. By the way, it's uh, it's free. So if you like it, if you enjoy it, then uh, please support uh, the creators. Uh, I'm just going to add the game to the uh, uh, King's Quest 2015. Oh, the name? Wait, oh. Okay, I guess. I get it. Um, King's Quest. Okay. Master. King's Quest. There we go. So I'll put it in the bottom. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That would be a nice cover for a. That would be a nice cover for a um, a fable book. Great. This game uses to save. Da, 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 da. Okay. So let's go fix the graphic and video and audio. So title on music. Let's check quality. I full screen on. Um, I need to check something. Did they made any? Uh, I remember during that time they used to have like stuff like. Um, 4k textures quality blah blah so i just need to check if if they they do have that and then we'll we'll uh we'll play the game it might not be also it might just be me or uh... all right so no there's not but that's okay um all right so control Uh, what are, are they going to be the control? Well, okay, at first, <laughs> see that picture over there? <laughs> at first, I thought it was a piece, actually, of, of st a steak. But it's actually a mouse. <laughs> okay, inventory, tab, pause, escape, move, space bar to interact. Okay, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to use a... <laughs> Let me go get a, a piece of steak uh, uh, from the uh, from my uh, fridge so I can play this game. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm probably gonna put the, the 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 music louder, but just to make sure that everything is safe. Also, because again, um, 
King's Quest uh, 2015 Sierra soundtrack. Um, is it um, safe to use? Okay, so chapter one. Yeah, there it is. So who composed this? I cannot see the names. David Stanton and Ben Stanton. Apple Music. Um, okay, on Spotify. What is Shazam? Shazam. I don't think it's going to be a problem, but this is so annoying sometimes when you're not sure, you know, all I can see is that I can buy, um, uh, the music. Uh, who was it again? David St David Stanton. Is it the name? Yeah, David Stanton and Ben Stanton. Just making sure that if anyone wants to be an AO, that they're not gonna bug, mess mess this up, you know. Uh, all right, so. It seems everything's gonna be fine so that we can play this and just relax and enjoy also having the music. So full screen, texture quality, high. All right, I'm so excited that I, I remember this game. <sighs> well, the thing is that this game, when they came out in the 90s and even before that, I think even in the 80s, the uh, late 80s, of course. Um, but first King Quest, second, I mean, I, I played them, but I did not knew what they were saying, because since I'm, you know, I'm native French Canadian, uh, I didn't knew, you know, I did not understood the English. So I was just playing them because I was fascinated by it, by it. But now, I understand. So let's do it. Uh, chapter one, of course, that's the one we have. Um, okay, I don't want to continue. I want to, um, probably I'm gonna need to go back to, cause yesterday I wanted to make sure that it would work. Uh, change save, oh, there you go. Okay, so delete and let's start this. Why does it show me that? Okay. Okay, begin. Chapter one, a night to remember. Wow, it looks, it looks great. Already just seeing this, I'm just, wow. Let me check, and, and yeah, uh, Alno is not showing on the, uh, up because he's right here he's sleeping on me <laughs> i have a a puppy in my uh on my laps uh I'm, I'm worried that i'm missing something i'm gonna go back to the main menu just just out of curiosity i'm gonna use the second slot and then i'm gonna go back and just play okay no okay so i thought it was there was like an intro or something but I think this is the intro, so let's do that. Let's 
so galleries we have nothing achievement probably nothing either uh chapter well you know we're there okay let's let's do it for real now look at that i just love the uh all right so this is uh the character I don't know who he is, but it's got a night to remember. Is it the... Uh, oh no, I'm not gonna use the uh, the gamepad right now because I uh, I have a uh, a dog on my laps and one of my one of my N is stuck there. Oh. Is there anything else around? Okay, so this is my inventory. I have not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Oh my God, is it a doc? Is it uh, Emmett Brown? Uh, what's his real name? I, I could swear it's his voice. Uh, what is his real name? He's playing Doc in Back to the Future, Emmett Brown. I love this actor so much. Those no. lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. I like his cape. His cape is so fluid. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Okay. There's two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happens. Okay, there's a lot of bed in this uh, mattress in this place. Now this, this thing tells me that... I decided this was no time to take a nap, even though that bed looked very squishy and very comfortable. <laughs> but they didn't used to make these kind in... Uh... Oh! And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. <laughs> that's not one of the things with King Quest is that you could actually die in the game or, you know, kind of... I know that they didn't make it, like, really die, die here, but I like that. That's kind of... that's kind of funny. Wonder what we're after. Oh. That feel like a um, snoring. Buckets, barrels, 
butter churns and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seemed so familiar. Oh my god. Bigs in here. Okay, let's try not to get this to fall on her head. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no <laughs> time to hide under the covers. <laughs> let's just go to bed, too, you know. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Want to play too? It must be a, I guess a dragon. It's medieval, a night to remember. So it must be a dragon. Wow! Look at that. This, this bed is all made of. Uh, one second, my dog. I think my dog wants to uh, go down. So, all right. Looks like this this place is made of. Of beds and uh, I just want to uh, look of the uh, if it's fine for everyone. It's gonna be the the gamma or the uh, style for style for screen. Okay, so you cannot change it here. So I hope I, I hope it's fine for everyone though. Uh, that it's not too dark or anything. So all right, there we go though. All right, let's continue. Is it down there? Nestled. Oh, yeah. With a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror. Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. <laughs> okay, so... The the dragon is sleeping on a bunch of a bunch of mattresses. He's not on gold, but he has a mirror that looks like that's probably what we want. Hmm. Two way we can go this way and this way. What's in here? Yeah. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. Volumes of old books with oh. foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon, breaking the spirit of hideous beasts, amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. Did 
it's safe to do that? <laughs> so, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> oh, crap. Then, I used my cleverness to hide. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, it's missing an eye. And it's Jane. God. That rip Luckily, runs Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Ah, oh, I was missing something. I tried okay. to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tethered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Then I should what did use, you use the big... this. This. Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch oh. mounted to the cave wall. Oh, that sucks. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. I feel bad for the dragon, but then again, is it bad? Is it evil or not? We don't know. We don't know yet. I'm gonna remove the puppy cam while I'm uh, playing this game. It's just, it's just too beautiful. I want to have more thing, uh, view uh, for everyone to enjoy. Ah, uh, that sucks. Hmm. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Oh. Wow. So we have to... Is there anything around? That's dangerous. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I bet I would... Okay, let's go. Let's hide here. Then here. Okay, we've got the first part. Now, I don't know if it's a good idea to step on this, though. Uh, I won't see on that side. Come on, 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 come on. Try to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk because I don't want to step on these. Yeah, let's go.
We're good. Can I get closer to him? Oh no. right into a ferocious dragon's mouth. I was just making sure he was still paying attention. <laughs> oh, they really make you start all the way there? Like, what, what would happen if I don't hide from here? Is he gonna... Does he breathe, breathe, breathe fire? Now I know to uh backing. Designed this trap, thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. A bow? There you go. Surprise doesn't wake up from all of this, so. But hey, now we can shoot if we need to. Okay, wait a second. Looks, it's, it feels like a trap. multiple option right now I see this what does a that do? ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive ah uh, okay it's a bunch of uh, it's a bunch of meat so the idea is to feed it Shoot. 
think that's the idea is to get on it. Oh uh, well, we have to wait that he's done with it. A second uh, there's something else we have to do so what if we feed him and quickly get back the other one and then we go he's gonna get that one we're gonna quickly push on that Get up there. No? Okay. That doesn't work. Huh. Just harm the what? What if we call another one when he when there's no food? Okay, we're gonna first make sure that he eat this one, and then we're going to uh. After he's done with this one. We're gonna go down. I mean, we're gonna. He's gonna go back to sleep. As soon as he goes back to sleep, I'm gonna do that without having food in the. Uh... Maybe he's gonna look around. Then I can call for one. No. Huh. Now I'm curious. Why does it bring me to? Ah, oh, there we go. So now if I do it again, it's going to bring me closer to him. Yep. Okay. Got it. Whoa. Grandpa. Dragon Petite 4. Okay, so that was not the option. Oh, we have to bring him uh, all the way to the other side and a then... A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast... I have an idea Probably now. its owner alive. So we bring him the other, all the way over there. He's gonna go and then we go down to get the... Uh, Now we go. There we go. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Oh, 
Why this mirror though? <laughs> oh shit. Oh crap. Sure With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of a daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety and all would have rippling consequences. I didn't want it to, uh, you know. My hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have worn the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> king Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right. 
Let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it hmm. best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Ah, oh, the nostalgia. Oh, look at that. King Quest. Old artwork of King Quest. Cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Gart you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Hmm. A knack of kindness even in victory, a death maneuver, a quick wit distraction.
But that would fit with Treating the... my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to you. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, <laughs> that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It oh. is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Briefly. Uh -huh. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. What is that? Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Might have, would have wanted to not. Yep, there we go. Oh, 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 you have, oh, I have to move. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, wait, more. Is that? Oh. After gracefully repelling down the cliff, I welcomed the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Right. I thought he would he would catch it like. Um, does it say anything on Daventry this? Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. And what about Daventry was just okay. a few, oh, wait, few miles to, to the east. I'd read all about its wonders no in my travel classy. books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. So there's not really any way to, uh... What if I go this way, though? Hey there! Grandpa! You can't leave Triumph! Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Okay, so... That's a dog. These are oh, ooh, Dark Knight. Hey, isn't that the bow? Oh, yeah. Damn, this one is uh. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, over here. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Hmm. Well, we're gonna be about to go down there. So, oh. We just saw another night. This way? Hmm. Something passed here and it's, uh, broke all the branches of the trees. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. Eddie. Yeah. Look 
at the uh, the artwork of the background. Amazing. Oh, what's that? In in this, there's something in there. Probably need something to uh, push it down. Bar. Uh, let me check first around. There, I wondered something. what those birds needed a toolbox for. Oh. Ah. Can I please get a toolbox? Shay. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. <laughs> Let me guess, we're gonna use it on everything. Will seem freshly broken. Oh, maybe that's what happened. A, a cart. so tiny and then <laughs> hello there stand back you dirty thieves Wah! oh it's just a boy don't know where he's from but it must be hard to pronounce you know you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like no oh! what's wrong with your foot probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed don't worry i got just the fix for that <laughs> tell me is it more of a oh or a oh Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day. And just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm hmm I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh. Uh, nope. Okay, so if we cut some. Just a little oop here, a little elbow grease there, and darn nabs it! First of all. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns! Oh, I just realized that they're, it's it's a it's made of uh, cardboard and it's Ooh, attached I'm to the. No, I'm not. Wait a second. What if I? Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? Yeah. Uh oh. 
That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? <laughs> you don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are <laughs> terrible. Ooh. That's creepy. Kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty. No. Hmm. Whoops. No wheels are there. Y you don't just find wheels in the wilderness. I mean, I I could use wood to make one. An overgrown patch. The spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Yeah. So what if I, I use... tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Fire. Okay, so not right now. Hmm. Oh. Isn't that the back of the uh the town? <laughs> There's some big claw mark on this. And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? No. If we can find a wheel. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. I have to keep this open so I can go back. But. We need to find a wheel. I wished I had some marshmallows. I wished I had some marshmallows. Look like a blacksmith shop of swords. Oh, wow, look at that on the wall. Big, round, that should do the trick. <laughs> How does he do that? Sword though. Mm. Tips here. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Oh, I should I should find some coin. Oh wait, I have some coin. I decided to leave some coins for the shield. Frankly, I think the show works more than a, a few coins. <laughs> Let's take a look around. What do we have? What's that one? A bakery. And it smells delicious. 
Yeah. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Uh, I could have made a wheel out of a... <laughs> okay. So, it's the kind of game where there's multiple ways. The delectable goods way. look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the, uh, to the guy. And, uh, give him the, uh... Wheel. I knew it. Ah, a shortcut. It's true. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh geez. Don't tell me I'm gonna be uh Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. A shield, eh? Whoa, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. Makes quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm. Just like my shorts. This is perfect. <laughs> I hope you didn't pay too much for it. Oh, wait. Before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this uh. metal land, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, but now I'm stuck there. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! <laughs> We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our oh, luxury he me. Okay. cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Thanks for the hospitality. No time <laughs> to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears missing in that bridge. illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay, so now we cannot leave this The place, forest right? is blocked until this situation is under control. Eh? The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Okay, um... Let's see. Wait, let, me, let me go talk. Let me go see the others first. Back away. Back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies. I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're <laughs> off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These knight hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Okay, so if I make something where they would there would be a distress. Uh 
Huh. We're gonna, we're gonna go check this way. Uh, do I have to? I don't know. That's true. The, the game saved by itself. Oh. This here. I don't want to try to go there yet, but here with the axe. Come at me, bees! No? Okay, and what if I use the axe? And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, Gwendolyn. No? Okay, let's try to uh stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Distress! Abandoned post. <laughs> Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe this tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Please, please, please. Oh, <laughs> we fixed the problem. <laughs> All right. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. That voice. Another horn and another missing piece. <clears throat> your hero is thinking. Okay. Well, I know the answer. <laughs> I want to see how all of you will solve it. Uh-huh. You look like a little man who wants to do big things. Leave me alone, guys. I'll figure this out by myself. How about pushing that tree? Or cutting that tree? There we go. There we go. Over here, buddy. Oh. oh, well, we're going to be able to go there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, what about the rope here? Ah. Uh. Oh, he's nice though. <laughs> so we got a robe though. Give me a second. I have the perfect plan. I mean, the, the I was going to I was I'm calling him the Dark Knight because he has darker color. Um, he seems to be nice, though. So. 
Pardon me. Oh. So they all gonna take her away. What about the last one? The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoying. <laughs> Let me take it. Oh. Uh. Wait, I didn't even knew that I was going. I was making myself a. So I just need the rope. And the small one probably gonna come here and, and take my uh Wait what? <laughs> what was the little path? Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn-flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? <gasps> this competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. <laughs> Let me know how I can help. Uh, let's see first. What do we have around? I can go up there. I don't think I can do that, though. Let's try. I bet he's going to... Wow, okay. But I can get there. There you go. Bring this and this. There you go. It's a, it's it's a great game. I, I mean they've made a great uh King Quest so far. And it's, it's just the first episode, so I'm very happy about it at the moment. Now they all have no peace. Yeah, this one also. Another horn and another missing piece. Right. No. Okay, let's go in. Night audition. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. 
t Tuesday. Now that we have recovered our Tuesday. list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Uh, not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws oh explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting-to-know-you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. <laughs> In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Helping uh, someone in need? I didn't hear about the date change. My mom would let me leave before I finish breakfast. I don't know what extenuating means. I um, don't know what the term extenuating means. Mm hmm. I'll just pencil in dim witted. <laughs> now, go on, mingle with the other contestants. Find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Dim witted. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what we have around. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to each of them. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, you gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. We'll make it quick, then buzz off. Where are you? Uh, okay, I'm Graham. I'm Graham. Graham. Cr no, no last names. I don't even want your first name. No last and name. Your name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Acorn. <laughs> Sir Conference. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your what name? What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. Okay, so what were you hiding in your hand? An acorn? What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Okay. So, acorn. I'll leave you be. Go away. could feel the riches with the edges of my fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. I didn't have much time. Then a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run. No time to think. Only action. I jumped off the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash. Treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me. It was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. Grrr! It called out in pain as I heard its body crash to the floor. Treasure in hand, I escaped and adventured onward. 
How delightful. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. The flames danced right before my eyes. I couldn't go anywhere. They had me surrounded. I watched the flames grow, each ember reaching closer to my face. Then I knew there was a way out. I blew as hard as I could, countering that incendiary torture device and extinguishing each and every flame. The horde inched toward me, their cults like call ringing through my ears. I leapt up and kicked one square in the throat, silencing his off-pitched blathering. The others, shocked by this sight, silenced themselves and bowed down to the hero you see standing in front of you. What a happy adventure. It seems I tell this legend every year. Oh, how can I be you? There was no looking past him. Every corner of my periphery, he was there, awaiting to be acknowledged. Stalwartly mocking me. There he stood, the largest beast I had ever seen. He called to me, staring me down right between my eyes. I raised my hands ever so slightly to ready myself, but I twitched, only for an instant, and he saw it. He gathered his troops and fortified his walls. We wrestled for days, squeezing the life from each other's souls. When we both could take no more, I somehow found the strength. Your hero mustered up everything inside him and pushed that beast over the edge. The beast's guts exploded everywhere. And Jeez. I was left with the mess. How do you do it? What can I say? Adventure just burst through my skin. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... you're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Sorry, Ten. That jerk who pushed me into the river. Going to have to wait. I'll be back. Every woman's dream. Hmm. Do we try to. To get. Would we try to get his name? Every that... woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love. Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... That, that jerk, jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, uh, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Good job, Dwayne Brewer. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Can I talk to you? No, okay. Um, let's check. These over there, maybe they know the name. Back it up, back it up. Okay. Uh, no, okay. So I'm gonna go see my the others. And I'm very curious about the darker night there, because also the bow that he has, I think that's the bow we got from uh, where the dragon was. So is it him dead? Hornswoggle. Naga naga. Shreki hainga maka maka. Ikairis ki ke e dukachanka.
second. Uh, is there any subtitle? I thought there was some subtitle, but I don't see them now. Yeah, they're on. Yaki yaka mata, afa mata. Shreki, afa mata. Shreki maka maka dun. Oh, hey Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Hmm, yeah. Uh What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel wow. under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. Okay, and... Sir Ten of himself. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. Okay, so we need to find his name, Sir Ver of uh, Ver Avaro. What can you tell me about Sir Ver Averos? <laughs> That's funny, but you're not going to pass your chivalry test if you don't know anyone's name. Get to know thine enemies, Graham. Then we can chat strategy. Exposing their weaknesses will be the only way to win. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. So his name is Manny. Hello. What about him? My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. Achaka. So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Achaka. Sounds exotic. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Okay, and... Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, Shaka. you're right. You'd probably just slow name, me down. Or it means hello. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. So yes, Graham. Manny. You want some dirt on someone? What can you Shaka. tell me about a Chaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> You got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. Mm-hmm. Now, we just have Sir Ten of himself that we need his name. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of how could we do that. I mean, all I have left is I think it's the rope. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. What if I give him a coin? The treasure that was within. I could feel the riches with the edges I saved of my, my money for a better when opportunity. It clasped shut. Uh, that, that... My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Uh, going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Do the, uh, the guard say his name? Unearth the treasure that was within. I could feel the riches with the edges of my fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. I didn't have much time. Then a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. 
If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run. No time to think. Only action! I jumped off the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash. Treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me. It was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. Grrr! It called out in pain as I heard its body crash to the floor. Treasure in hand, I escaped and adventured onward. Oh, how delightful. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. The flames danced right before my eyes. I couldn't go anywhere. They had me surrounded. I watched the flames grow, each ember reaching closer to my face. Then I knew there was a way out. I blew as hard as I could, countering that incendiary torture device and extinguishing each and every flame. The horde inched toward me, their cult-like call ringing through my ears. I leapt up and kicked one square in the throat, silencing his off-pitched blathering. The others, shocked by this sight, silenced themselves and bowed down to the hero you see standing in front of you. What a happy adventure. It seems I tell this legend every year. Oh. How can I be you? There was no looking past him. Every corner of my periphery, he was there, awaiting to be acknowledged. Stalwartly mocking me. There he stood, the largest beast I had ever seen. He called to me, staring me down right between my eyes. I raised my hands ever so slightly to ready myself, but I twitched, only for an instant, and he saw it. He gathered his troops and fortified his walls. We wrestled for days, squeezing the life from each other's souls. When we both could take no more, I somehow found the strength. Your hero mustered up everything inside him and pushed that beast over the edge. The beast's guts exploded everywhere. And I was left with the mess. How do you do it? What can I say? Adventure just burst through my skin. Waiting a moment to see if he's gonna say something else or they gonna say something. I mean, I probably could go talk to Acorn and say, hey, about the squirrel. Maybe he's gonna tell me his name. So, okay, he's not gonna say mm. anything else. Okay. What do you want? I found, I found out what you're hiding. I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. What's your name again? I'll leave you. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. Oh. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. Hmm. I'll okay, leave you so be. Whisper. You need to get lost. Monster unveiled itself. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, 
Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go! Whisper can do it! That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get wow. it. Wow. Good day, Whisper. Wow, well, no. Yes, Graham? You can want you some me? dirt on someone? What can uh, you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining <laughs> star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Okay, so we have everything about except the Chaka. Chaka. Uh, Sound good? Thanks, Manny. Goodbye! I could always try, though, to talk to him now. Are since. you ready for the chivalry test? Yes. Let's do it! Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? That would be... A sh uh... Manny. Manny! We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A Shaka? A Chaka. Okay. Moving mm -hmm. on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Uh, Sir Walter Ignatius... Sully Percival, Eduardo Raymond Jr., the third of Modesto. Uh, yeah. Sir Walter Harris, Ignatius, Sally Percival, Eduardo Ramon Jr., the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Uh, Princess Marilyn of Avalon, so... Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, mm -hmm. let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum 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 one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation oh. 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. <laughs> there are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we oh. will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. So that's how. Whisper! Mm. Ooh. Whisper can do it! Okay. Whoa.
Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Oh, she has... Jeez, okay. Wow. Keep out. Under construction. Okay. Caution. Bees and distress. Bees and distress? Okay. Um, we need um, con uh, our tool to cut the place for um, going to the dragon. That's Seeing all these new recruits makes me miss the old days. <clears throat> Are you paying attention? What? No, I was reminiscing. Sorry. So, how did you find an eye? It was a hideous beast lurking inside. Ouch! A rude! Yeah. Shame. These could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. Hmm. What's over there? Oh. Gee, what happened here? Am I gonna put that in my... Box? Oh! That pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. Strange. It. West Tournament Theater, North Town Square, South Under Development coming next spring. Wait, West I didn't hear. Tournament Theater, North Town Square, South Under Development coming next spring. Okay. We'll check everything. Uh, because we do need. What is that? We do need something to go to the uh, well so we can actually um a I new kind of horn get the eye the same result so this won't work mm. what are you doing here wherever you are hiding hideous beasts whisper will find you I was too slow to catch those frogs. Huh. Do squirrels count as hideous? <laughs> I tried again, but it was no use. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I tried to catch a frog? It was riveting. <laughs> Grandpa. Okay, so. Okay, so I have nothing else, and this guy. Can do it. Uh, we're gonna go. I mean, we're gonna go around now. Just see what we can find, and. Give herself kind of a clue or a hint of. I have to hey. get these old picks before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. The 
interesting. That the knights pick, has pick, to pick it, pick, 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 pick it, pick. What about here? No. Okay. What oh, the how heck? precious! The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. I'm not. Oh, whoa! What's happening there? One second. There's a path this way too. That's cool. I like that, but I want to see what's happening in town. Are those wolves? Uh oh. Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! Ugh. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I'm gonna go I talk. walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hmm. I haven't went to talk. Like to me, you. this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. <laughs> I want to go see upstairs. Uh, the person upstairs. I haven't. I haven't met the bakery also either. Oh, okay. <sighs> You aren't the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his comfort zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, they're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, <laughs> judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't <laughs> read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> Uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. It looked like some type of broken lantern. What are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kinda like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Uh -huh. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. Is there anything else? So there's many choice or ways to... He reminds me of our son. Something mysterious and uh, magical to, was to brewing do, in that part. Like to get to the point you want to get. So this re re replay above. Yes, boy. You could replay and do different things. Do you have an eye? Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. I don't see your name on this list. Well, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. 
Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for night jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. What was your advice again? Forget hunting down a beast. Prove your smarts by finding an alternate path. So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's gonna change everything. <laughs> Watch <laughs> this. Behold the power of whitening. Oh well, oh well. Oh well, we're still working out the kinks. <laughs> While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Fare thee well. May your shoes point you towards adventure and click whatever danger is near. Whatever danger is near. So, um, what if I put a coin? I know. No. No, I went too fast. Okay. Okay. So, I'll have to talk to each of them first and see. Uh, what is this one? We haven't talked. I don't even know the character in here. Oh, look at that. Hello there, and good afternoon. Um, forgive the shop from lacking our usual favorites. With all the bridges out and my supplier missing, I can't keep all my delicious treats stocked. But uh, have a look around. I'm here to answer any questions. I'm getting hungry now. Um... How can I help? Got any eye baking back there? Eye spice. Okay. That's not a delicious chocolate hideous beast's eye cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie. You look like a compassionate fella, uh, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. What was your advice again? Think with your heart and not with your brain or your biceps. That's the night I want to see in King Edward's royal court. Kind of agree that it's a good way, you know, to think with your heart. You know, that's how you, that's how you help other. That's how you don't expect something in return. You know, being humble and and doing the right thing because you're not um, stuck with principle of, uh, you know, like politic and other stuff like that or. Um, you know, you're just, you're a just person when you think about what you are, so. Um, What's today special? Oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. 
I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? <laughs> Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, uh, tell goat you what. Hoof. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Got any free samples? Any oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. Mm. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. Okay. So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But which ingredient? The sugar shrooms. They are pink and only grow in cold, dark areas. The starberries. They are yellow and uh, tend to grow high on trees in sunny areas. Never mind. In sunny areas, okay. Good day. Under the rocks. Bye pie. Bye pie. <laughs> The sign read, ask us about our free samples. Alright, so I could go with the baker option. I could go with the uh, the potion kind of, you know, the alchemist, I guess you could say. And let's go talk with her, the one we already met. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Usually that sleep depriver would be hunted down and fed to the crumbler. But today is different. Today, I sold a shield while I was out watching the parade, and money always puts me in a better mood. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. Oh. We do need to, uh... You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Hello. Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. What was your advice again? We need a traditionally brave knight in Daventry. One that can cut through all the new policies and rules, and instead get out there and protect our borders from enemies. We need a knight that can fight off our dragons. Hmm. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious <laughs> werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no. That's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, 
I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. So... Okay, so... I could use this to go to the well. If not... The baker needs some stuff and I could get a pie, but it doesn't really make me... I'm just thinking... It's not... I mean, it's not gonna really help. And then... Then... The other one are the, um... The, the one who used to... Uh, or they do a potion or whatever. Uh, this one could... What, what can I get from them? I have to use my intelligence to to get that. I'm I'm not. Sh um, hmm. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Make your move. All right. I'm gonna first go around and. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. I'm, um... I'm, I'm still gonna go around, check around, what can, I, what can I find, and then make my decision after that. But of course, you know, deep down me, to me, I feel like going with the heart is the best, you know, it's, it's, it's my, it would be my, my style. Wait a second, what is that down there? No one should notice one bell missing. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he left me with a daven tree to grow into the kingdom it is today. That's kind of nice. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. Oh, so there are more than one round. Okay. Okay, let's go check around. Is this I better way? stand on this side of the rock. Oh. It wouldn't budge. Oh, what's that? Oh. Huh, what a peculiar trap. <laughs> yeah. So got a piece of meat. I know there's something in the middle and I don't want to, to get into it because I feel like it, I'm gonna die there. What? Fantastical floating island. Only steps away. It's so floaty. You'll be amazed. <laughs> okay, I'm um, curious. Almost there. World's greatest and only floating island. Okay. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Mm, they make me want to go that way. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. What is that here? My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. That's beautiful. I 
ruin the bee's day. <laughs> that lovely meal. I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. So now we have this for the uh, for the baker. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. <laughs> oh. This was on my bucket list. And we don't have a uh And yet yeah, so it doesn't work, right? Alright, so for now we can come here. It might be like another episode. But we got the berries. Um what else? Anything up there? No. What about up up? Cave here. Oh look. Don't worry. The Wedzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. Aw. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the craftsmanship of these traps. Ugh. I'm gonna wipe that stupid feather off his face. When I'm a knight, things are gonna be very different. If Skinny Pants makes it past this section of the tournament, I'll smash him in the next round. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> stop wiggling, Madeline. You're tickling my belly. He was right, you know. I do have snacks hidden in there. <laughs> Maya said I'd be rewarded beyond my wildest dreams if I captured enough Wetzels. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see the surprise I've been working on for you. Your stomach growls and mine does too. It's not a trap, it's just free food. Come, the Wessels, visit me. You only need one eye to see. One for you and one for me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Don't worry. The Wedzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the craftsmanship of these traps. Oh. I wasn't always the master archer you see before you now. How'd you learn? <laughs> we'll get to that part. Okay. Okay, I thought holding the button would make it better. I can only shoot there, so. He's eating a piece of meat. Okay, so I cannot do that yet. But there's a cave here. I never, I never waste food. That didn't need a bell. I think I should save these. You just pranced into a dark cave filled with vicious. Wolves? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe I should pause for reflection. Ugh. <laughs> oh. So I would have needed the uh, lantern to go in there. Yep. That didn't need a bell. I never waste food. Okay, so. It's a no-go for now. Uh, da -da -da. Now this here, I have a thing. I'm gonna check, but I have a thing if I go in the middle. There I go. Oh, 
Well, look at that. All right, sugar shrooms. Okay, so now we have sugar shroom, strawberries, raw meat. Hmm. I I think I know where you use this, and it wasn't here. I never went. That didn't. Need I don't think I can move this. It would. Maybe the guy, the big guy, could move it. I wasn't strong enough to move that rock. Okay, so we have multiple things so f uh, now. Uh, one other thing I could do. Okay, I have. Technically, I have. I see. I see my three option. The the wolf cave. Where I could use a lantern. Um, the. The, the cutting tool you know for the um, to go into the well I believe I believe uh, and then now the pie I have all the item so I'm thinking hmm gone cool okay you can have more than one tool uh, item that's good a fruit picker um hmm I'm trying to think if i miss any place I never wait. That didn't need a bell. I never wait. I never waste food. Yeah, I know they're coming back. That pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. Okay, so. Strange. Strange, yeah, and f the fact that all of this is kind of... Let let's go see the baker first. <clears throat> let's go give him some of the, the item we have. Uh, actually, should we? Because when I think about it, uh, that might make one of my options. But what if I go around fully first? I mean, it looks like there's more options than I... Wait, isn't that the way? I just... Okay, so that's the other, that's one of the way to go back there. Then we have this way. Oh, look, there's a bridge. It's not gone. Oh. Okay, what what just happened there? told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now because i'm a bitch all true careful i've stained monster i will return with better tasting food if you let me go i can return to you with bundles of royal food you see I i'm training to be a knight if you release me i'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, <laughs> I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would, would say. say. <laughs> Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, what do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Do you know who 
I can find an eye. What are those weird instruments? Can you oh. share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long <laughs> have we, the bridges, have been stomped on by sharp pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not. As Pilar says, for shame, Daventry. We're not going Marsha back to work Bob until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting. Perofi always shows up fashionably late. <laughs> right when the croissants are served. Croissant. <laughs> so, okay. What are those weird instruments? What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfi was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Shh. <laughs> oh my god. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh bother, my memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored the beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils. Six legs! Three claws and one tooth. I could let you cross and perhaps even help you with that fire eyed monster, but since Ulfi didn't eat you, Ulfi needs a pick me up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. What about the, uh, the pie? Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ophi is starving. Okay, so now I'm stuck going that way, but I, um, the sample. That's what we need to sample. Uh, that way or that way? I mean, I'm confused. You poked? I did not poke that. That didn't need a bell. Let me, uh, let me look around again. Ah, I remember my first beast eye. It was one of those snaky hydras. Nearly killed me. I figured it had 20-something more eyes, so what was one less? I take it she didn't agree. She did not. What was your first beast? I'll tell you what it should have been. My mother-in-law. <laughs> oh my god, that game is just... Okay, so we cannot go this way, no matter what, so... Are you in possession of an eye? Okay, so until we have an eye, we cannot go there either. So, what could we... They... The, the two that are working on kind of alchemy... <coughs> Ew, gross. <laughs> okay. A nasty badger. Oh, what if I bring him to the pumpkin? Maybe he could uh, chase them away and then I can take the pumpkin. Will the squirrels remember that? <laughs> the squirrels will most certainly remember that. I can take that. That, 
that cape. Gotta love that cape. Alright, so now... Um... I don't know if that would be enough for the uh, a fruit picker. Mm. Be here. Okay, not that way. Um, okay, let me go see what's gonna happen if I give. Actually, is there anything I can put in the uh, the pot? Uh, it's actually with the. Um... Wish that teeth whitening potion would have worked. I'd never brush my teeth again. I'm not sure that's how it works, sweetheart. This will work great for dipping. Go ahead and dunk it. <laughs> That's uh, uh mm, wow. Purple. Well, uh, yeah, ta da. Here you go, boy. It looks like a gigantic uh, blueberry. Go ahead, dip it. Astounding. Wish that teeth whitening potion would have wow. worked. I'd never brush my teeth again. I'm not sure that's how it works, sweetheart. So I can ahead and dunk dip it. everything into Ta -da! blue. How'd the bell work? Go ahead and dunk it. Astounding. So I'm gonna have everything in purple now? Grandpa, how'd the bell work on that? Grandpa, that's not going to work. Okay. Hello, kitty here. <clears throat> so, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. I thought he could, the the book you could take like the book, but no. So now I have everything dipped into. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, a little bit, but hey, let's go see. Yes, lad. Good day. Don't forget to follow your heart. Luciano. These starberries look a bit off, but they smell good. Oh well, bakers can't be choosers. Thanks. Now, if you can find me the sugar shrooms, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. Hmm, I've never seen purple sugar shrooms before. Hopefully these will still work. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. The uh, pumpkins are too savory for this shop. Even purple ones. So. So that means now I could actually get him to do the pie. But I'm going to go try the pumpkin uh, on the. Um, on the uh, bridge roll. I want to see if um... pumpkins are not sweet, so Ulfi will not eat. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So, what could I use the pumpkin for then? I feel like I'm gonna uh, maybe making the pie. Or 
uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with the pie. Maybe eventually I'm gonna go with something else. Uh, next time I could always kind of replay this and try again. But this time, let's go with the pie. How can I help? Good day. Don't forget to follow your heart. So you spent your only coin to buy that giant pie. I did. I knew that delicious smelling pie would somehow get me to the next round of the tournament. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two. Whoa. Or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. That was, <laughs> that was a gigantic pie. Okay, so I feel that this is what I'm going to need to use for the troll now. That would make sense. But let's do that. Bum, 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 ba, da, bum. I don't know what to use the bell for, but maybe it's gonna be for the next round or something like that. But uh, here. <gasps> hey there. Got that just for you. Aww. He's so happy. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfi was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract that snarling Snarlax eye. <laughs> Whoa! It's all yours now. Whisper can do it. Oh no! Uh, fret not, Goosey. It is the two-eyed snarling Snarlax after all. London bridges. <laughs> Whisper. Oh, I, uh, mm, Ophi has a new plan. Okay. First, we'll... Then you'll... Then I'll... But first, you'll need this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. Oh, cool. And he was... For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now... You may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. <laughs> but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. Wow. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. Freaking cheater. Oh, there you go. Oh, I have to put the... Uh... Oh, he's... Okay. Oh, what about this here? Could it... Okay, we're gonna use this. Is this hideous enough for you? Um, yes. This is, uh, I don't think any addendums cover this. Congratulations, Graham! Welcome to the tournament! <laughs> that troll is pretty ugly. Yeah, ugly in a sort of pretty way. That's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> you know, like your cousin Hilda. <laughs> Take that and that! There oh. we go. Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? You know what? I 
will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. I'm just too adorable to fight, Mr. Springbottom. Let's <laughs> dance instead. Twirling and best friends and twirling. Oh. <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. It's a very now it's time for my favorite fun. part of the Ooh, tournament, part two. the duels. <laughs> you will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theater for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. And good luck to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637373713467378 states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! So, we are going to have to go into the, uh... the, uh, the well with the dragon. So, can I Which did you this? tackle first? Dual speed? Or the dual strength. Acorn versus Manny, Whisper versus Graham. Oh. So Whisper, okay, and then Graham versus Acorn, Manny was great. They had to put me against. Uh, these two and the wit uh, damn I bring back my matches <laughs> caution bees okay oh Oh, if I made him sign his own fly, it's gonna make him uh, get off the um, get off the um, uh, sorry the uh, the tournament. So that that's gonna be great. But that said, that was a great adventure so far. I love the game. I really want to continue and. And there's still, uh, this is just the first episode of a full five uh, chapter in short. The first chapter of a full five chapter. So I cannot wait to see what else we're going to have a story. But it's the first one. Love it so far. Love the King, uh, King, uh, King Quest. It's really uh, bringing back kind of memories of the old one. Um, but at the moment, it's going to be the first part. And I'll continue later, um, uh, probably tomorrow, um, more streaming and, and more videos. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And remember that this is King Quest. You can find it on Steam. Uh, it's, I think it's about 10 bucks now for all of the chapters. 
rewarded. So if you like watching this, uh, you know, uh, I uh, strongly suggest to buy it. Very fun. Uh, but you can also watch me tomorrow, more stream and more video also going to the YouTube channel. And don't forget that you can also check my Twitter and uh, we have a Discord channel now. Uh, if you want to see when I do stream, uh, get the news. So thanks for being here. Thanks for spending time with me and uh, stay safe and have a good night.